picked it up easier than the others, I think, because my mind was set for it. And I haven't stopped since. I think generally that Aboriginal people are just prepared to learn. And they're learning really well. When I go to the communities, I always say it's your course. It's the way you want to run it. We'll run it the way you want it. And I think that once those people, once the Aboriginal people understand this, um, that they're more prepared to participate. As a regional Aboriginal coordinator, I won't let my own people down, so I, I go, you know, to stick up for their rights. Um, and I also try to educate them in what I know, because um, I do know a lot of things and resources and stuff like that, and, and I try to pass it down to them. And, and until they get stronger leaders within the communities and a lot of leaders, um, you know, the white society will just walk over them. Change the attitudes of kids. I think anything is worth a try. And I think that's a good stepping stone anyway, to try them off of the Aboriginal cultures. To get the young Aborigines anyway to understand themselves and who they are, make them recognise who they are. I'm very pleased they've got it in school because there's a lot of things I didn't know and don't know about. Like there's only some things the old people used to tell us that's about the laws. Like the laws are very strict. But the things that uh, Dot and Joe was talking about today, well, they're very interesting and I'd like to hear more. Long time ago in the dream time, the emu could fly. One day, the emu was showing off, flying right up into the air, into the clouds. He, he would go really fast. Then the emu would stretch out his long, beautiful wings, and he would glide back down to earth. After the emu landed, he felt so sleepy, and he decided to go and lay down under the gum tree on the hill. There were two young boys watching the emu show off. These two boys were very cheeky and they decided to go down to the emu. The emu was fast asleep. The two boys came up behind him and grabbed his long, beautiful wings. And with the sharp stones they were carrying, the two boys cut off his wings. The emu woke up and saw the two boys playing with his wings. Blood was dripping over his feathers. The emu chased the two boys. One boy ran up the tree and he started laughing. But he couldn't stop laughing. He turned to a kookaburra. The other boy ran into the long grass. He turned to a lizard. And now when you see the emu, you always remember that the kookaburra and the lizard were two cheeky boys. They cut off the emu beautiful wings by all the boys. Aboriginal people still today um, are eluded by um, access to education. It's a little bit of a struggle and there are many boundaries for Aboriginal people to uh, overcome before they can en enter the education system. But I think it's much easier in the tertiary uh, set up um, because of uh, the Aboriginal Education Unit in TAFE. I mean, they've made great uh, headway for Aboriginal people in the education, uh, also outreach and, and now with the um, Women's Coordination Unit. Well so I'm coordinating three courses at the moment. Uh, mainly for Aboriginal women, but some of them are open to males, mature age students. Um, one of the courses is the new opportunities for Aboriginal women. Um, basically to build confidence in Aboriginal women, although for years they have been the, uh, um, the teachers or the educators of uh, their immediate family and then uh, uh, later on extended into the larger uh, community groups. Um, I think Traditionally, they've been acknowledged as the uh, educators of the communities, and now we want um, to develop their confidences so that they, uh, in turn, can start teaching in the, in the tertiary preparation course. Uh, the, you know, there are f five subjects, and uh, one of them, like I said, is Aboriginal studies, um, legal studies, and media studies, which is very important because I want Aboriginal people to realise that they can use the media uh, to their benefit. And uh, that hasn't happened, you know, as much as we would like for it to happen to date. But uh, it is starting to happen. Language and communication is another part of that course. And statistics, the harder form of maths. Oh, boy. 
it meant to 